Hey everyone, Doug at Convology here. One question I'm seeing a lot out in the community is what's the difference between a home page, a page, a template, and a landing page? I want to try to clarify and simply explain what these things are so that there's no more confusion and we can try to clarify and show you how you can use each of these different pages, because they're all pages on our website, how we can use each of them, how they're meant to be used, or how we can get the most out of them. So first, let's talk about home page, okay? And that is specifically related to Thrive Theme Builder. In Thrive Theme Builder, they have a tag called the Active Home Page. Now, I want you to understand that this is actually nothing more than the page you currently have assigned as your home page. This page could be any page on your website. And as soon as you make that your home page in your WordPress settings here, you go to settings, uh, reading, and set your home page that page will be set as the active home page. Now here's one of the confusing parts of this. Thrive Theme Builder has the option and it comes with preset home pages. And when you first install Thrive Theme Builder, they will give you the prompt to set those up. Now, you don't have to use them. You can use any page. In fact, before I used Thrive Theme Builder, I had the same home page that I have now and I simply chose to continue using it. So that's the that's what a home page is. It's just any page in your site you've chosen to be the home page, whether or not you choose to use one of the pre-done Thrive Theme Builder templates. All right, let's move on to a page. A page is just like it sounds. You go to WordPress, you go to Pages, and that's any default page. When I hit Add New Page here, and I come into this and I've created a new page, whether or not I edit it with Thrive Architect or create a page and preview it, that is a page. Now, in Thrive Theme Builder, we have the option to create the default page template. And now this is where things start to bleed over into the template discussion. But essentially, that's what a page is. Anytime I go to Pages, Add New, that's a page on my site. Now, this makes sense to segue to talk about templates because templates affect pages and posts. Think of templates as the default settings. So for example, if I were to come into this little demo page that I've set up, and let's pretend that this were a page right on my website, on the right hand side, I have the option to switch to Thrive Theme Builder. When I switch to Thrive Theme Builder, I am now editing what is called the page template. And I can see that you are now editing the Convology page template. It came up on the screen. You can also see in the upper left hand corner, this will typically say what you're editing. I've named mine Convology Page Template, but this might be Default Page Template. So any changes I make to the template are going to affect every page on my website. Again, that's going to, on the left-hand side in WordPress here, if I jump back here, Pages Add New, any changes that I were to make to this page would affect all of them because they are all inheriting my page template settings. Now, real quick, what are page template settings, right? What can I do here? Well, that's things like width, right? If I wanted the width of my website to be only a thousand pixels, right? Or if I wanted it to be you know, 1200 pixels, that's what I personally like. I like 1200 pixels. If I wanted there to be more margin between the header and the post content or the footer, if I wanted to add a background color, if I wanted to do any number of things to a page template, that's what I would do here. The same applies to posts, right? I have post templates. So I can come back in here and say, okay, for my default post template, what settings do I want? And I think this is even easier to understand. So these are my, this is what my blog post looks like, but what if I wanted to add a sidebar? Or what if I didn't want to have some bottom section here, right? I could turn off the bottom section. I could add that back. I could come in here and I could say, I don't want to show my related posts, so I could remove those. I can add them in. I can add in up here. I can say, well, I want a featured image, or I don't want it to say by Doug at Convology. I just want it to say by Doug. Right now, every single blog post that I publish will just say by Doug instead of by Doug at Convology. And again, we have the same options here to come into our blog section, our blog text blog settings and adjust width. My blog, I have at a thousand pixels wide. 
Well, I could remember my pages are 1200, so I could have made these 1200. But again, my personal preference was 1000 because I think it's easier to read when it's more narrow. So again, that's, that's how you use templates. And it's no different for any other page on your website. You can have a default blog post layout template. So for example, on my website, I've chosen to have my template for my blog posts page be a post list with three columns, showing the featured image, the category that they're in, and the title. All of these settings are controlled by the template settings. And all of those templates in Thrive Theme Builder are listed right here under the templates section. So that's the difference. A template simply gives a set of settings and appearance variables that are inherited by the page or the post that inherits that template. Now, not to get too confusing here, if I were to go to add a new page, on the right hand side, I have the ability to choose my template. Right here on the right hand side, Thrive Theme Builder Templates, I'm using the default, which is my default post template, but I could create others. If I wanted this to inherit the template settings of maybe I had a, uh, I don't know, a product page, or if I'm in the medical field, a procedure page, maybe I had um, a service page, and I wanted those to have a different template. Well, I would just simply come in here and choose that template that I've created under my Thrive Theme Builder templates. You can have as many templates as you like. Okay, so I hope that clarifies templates for you. Next, let's look at what a landing page is. A landing page is unique to Thrive Architect. So if we go into Thrive Architect, on the right hand side, you're going to see a picture of like a cloud and a download arrow. And you hover over it and it says change template. When I come in here, I'm given landing page templates. Now, what are landing pages? For years, people, and this is my opinion, but I feel people have misused landing pages. People used them to build the normal pages on their site because we didn't have Thrive Theme Builder and some people liked the customization options that they gave. But really, a landing page is supposed to be something that is separate from the rest of the site. It's supposed to be a special page, a sales page, a page designed to convert. In Thrive Architect, the full version at least, we have the ability to deploy various landing page templates that have been given to us by Thrive, or we have the ability to create our own landing pages. So I'm going to go ahead and choose the Shapeshift theme landing pages, and I'm going to go ahead and choose, um, let's just choose, let's see, let's choose blank. So by default, it looks like a normal page, but the difference here is that it's actually a landing page and we have the ability to toggle these things on or off at a particular page level. Now you can do those things to be fair on pages as well and I think that's what confuses the heck out of people. This looks like a page but what this has that normal pages do not are things like the block editor. With the click of a button I can add a hero section. With the click of this page block button I can add an about section. Again click the button I can add more sections. Think of landing pages as isolated sales pages that, in my opinion, should not have headers and footers that match your website. These should be pages that, when you come in here uh, under header, I would have no header on my page. Or if I did, it would just be my logo. And I would have no footer, not the same footer at least. This one's actually not so bad. But I would have maybe just your copyright info um, and a few things in your footer. A landing page is meant to be a sales page. It's meant to be a page that you run ads to or a page that someone clicks a call to action on your website and they land on. And you have what I call, um, not just what I call, it's what other people call too, that one-to-one -one ratio, right? There's one action they can take to get one clearly defined outcome that you want, right? That is click the buy button and buy or leave. I highly recommend you do not use landing pages as normal pages on your website. Landing pages are meant to be special, separate sales pages, funnel pages, and things like that. If you're creating a website and you're creating pages for, you know, let's for example, let's just go to convology.com. This is my home page. This was a normal page that I designed using Thrive Architect, and I set this as my home page under settings reading. The services pages, for example, my Thrive Theme services that I offer, this is just a page. This is not a landing page. The template that this page is using is my default page template. 
that's the 1200 pixels wide with just a header and just a footer. Everything else I've built using Thrive Architect. My blog, when I click on that, is my blog post list template. Again, I showed you that already. Three columns, post list, some pagination, nothing else to it. If I click into a particular blog post, this is inheriting my blog post template by default, the default one, where I have a featured image up here and I have my title and I have Dugget Convology and I have the content. The content itself was built using Thrive Architect, right? And then I scroll all the way down to the bottom again here to show you I have my related posts. This is part of the template. Comments, part of the template. And bottom section, part of the template. Header and footer as well. So I hope that clarifies, maybe in a 30,000 overview level, the differences between a home page, a page, a template, and a landing page. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment on this video or on the blog post I'm creating that goes along with this video, and I would be more than happy to try to clarify things for you and point you in the right direction. Again, this is Doug at Convology. Have a great day.